Hello and welcome to program 84, which aims to find areas of support and resistance. Based on program 55, this new program, instead of using the data on the chart, actually uses a PSP to look for pivots. And the idea of the program is that when pivots occur, perhaps more than once in a specific level or close to a specific level, then that level might have some support or resistance. And the way that this program works is every time a new pivot occurs in the PSP from the start of the chart to present, that level is added to a vector. And more than that, what the program then does is compares this new level with all the levels that are already stored. And if one of those levels is close, then the number of occurrences is increased for the new level and the, level, the number of occurrences is reduced to zero for the level that was already in the vector. And then when the screen size is, or rather when the difference between the highest price on the chart that, that is visible and the lowest varies, then the program goes through the vector, creates a sub vector just showing, or rather just storing the levels that are within the, uh, between the upper price and the lower price. It sorts those based on the number of occurrences followed by the, uh, the date then draws those on the chart. The color can be changed depending on which uh, ranking those levels are. So for example, in my case, I know that red is gonna be for the highest and then magenta and so on. You can also change the uh, type of lines. So if you had two levels that had the same number of occurrences, then the one that uh, occurred most recently would be given the highest uh, weighting or the, the uh, in this case, red, then the next magenta, etc. Let me just show you the inputs for the program. Or in fact, let me just show you what would happen if we do move the chart. So I'm changing the, the values between the upper price and lower, lower price. And you'll see that the program has redrawn the levels now. Of course, if you go back, you are potentially using new data, uh, using data that uh, is in the future, back to the future. And uh, so probably it makes more sense to be uh, on the, the latest part of the chart. So let me, uh, let me explain the inputs. The uh, top pivots, that's the number of uh, lines that we're gonna draw, number of horizontal lines. Combined value, that is the price. So, if, so imagine you get a new level and you create a range between the new level plus the combined value, the new level minus the combined value. Then you go through the whole vector, or the, the program goes through the whole vector and compares each pivot stored in the vector with the new line. And if there is one that is close within those, those bounds, then we would increase the occurrence for the, the new level found, and we would decrease to zero the, the occurrence for the one that was originally stored in the vector. Right strength and left strength, these are the pivot strengths. In other words, how many bars to, for the case of a high pivot, how many bars to the right or left have to be lower than that value. For a low pivot, how many bars to the right or the left have to be higher. Int span, that is the number of minutes for the PSP. So in this case, I have a one minute chart, but I'm doing my pivot analysis using a 60 minute PSP. And uh, the analysis is going from the start of the chart. So in this case, I've loaded six months of data. Clearly, the more data you have, the more likelihood you're gonna have these, uh, these pivot confluences. And then the update frequency, this is how often the chart checks to see if the distance between the highest price on the chart and the lowest price on the chart has changed. And then the rest are for presentation. So I mentioned that color one, the red, color two, magenta, you can just put in whichever color colors you want. And then the line styles, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, or you could just leave those all zero, of course. And then the line thickness has to be a number between a zero and six. And what happens if we have more than 10 pivots, then what this system will do 
is it will recycle these these colors but it would just use a darker shade so things if you do buy this program the program source code shows several things which may be useful to you for this program or other programs drawing and deleting horizontal lines sorting a vector of vectors using a timer to detect when the chart range changes anyway hopefully it might be useful to you i will make it available for download on the program page and uh, if you are interested in tradestation easy language then please subscribe to this video channel and also go to mar kplex.com and join the Markplex email list. Thank you very much.